Well, hey everybody, Coach Gary Michaeloni here. Glad to be with you this uh, end of February 2015. Man, one-sixth of the year is gone already. It's hard to believe that. But here we are getting a little bit of marketing near the end of the year and uh, the end of the year, the end of the month. Uh, and just a little housekeeping, uh, you are invited to this webinar because you are subscribed. And I want to remind you to never unsubscribe because what happens? Bad things happen and you won't receive anything that United Infrared sends out if you unsubscribe from our list. So make sure you are on it. Okay, so in 2015, and I mentioned this this past month at the last um, uh, marketing uh, boot camp in January, I said in this year that, that every month we were going to have um, a general marketing strategy for everybody, and and that's what this today's um, uh, uh, broadcast is all about. And uh, but we are also going to be uh, uh, going with uh, a members-only secret inside info video, and uh, that is now that is now underway. More about that in just a wee bit. But this is the uh, this is the um, uh, webinar for everybody who is uh, interested at all in United Infrared or, or Things Infrared. Anyway, so that marketing for everybody on our big list, uh, that begins now. Um, and I will also say here to our members, United Infrared members, watch your inboxes, your email inboxes probably probably Monday or Tuesday, for the invite to the super secret UI members only tactics video, okay? And you're going to find out here in a second uh, what that is all about. But this is the strategic marketing uh, information uh, session, and this is for everyone. And you can use this regardless of what, what business you are in. So today's strategy is, as I mentioned, for everybody. And here's what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to talk about the idea of value. And I'm going to give you two examples on that. Value. And the reason I want to do this is uh, just a couple things that I've seen out there in life, in the marketplace. Uh, some of the stuff drives me crazy. I want to share that with you today and see if we can implement something into your businesses that really help you with this. And so we're going to talk about value from the standpoint of both low value and high value. And um, you're going to see that one is much better than the other. What a surprise, huh? Okay. So of the two strategic tips we're going to be giving you today, here's the first one. It's when a lead knocks on the door, open it. And I'm going to say it's like someone selling car tires. So now here's the thing. I was over to just this morning. I was over getting um, uh, a tire on my car replaced. Picked up a nail in it, and so I had I actually got the tire repaired. But while I'm standing there, uh, um, and, and uh, talking with, uh, with, with the fine folks there, and I'm a repeat customer. Um, so someone who's valued by this company, it's a big nationwide chain, but I get in, I go in there. Um, so while I'm there talking to the person, the phone rings. And that the, the person at the counter immediately stops what he's doing with me, reaches over, grabs the phone, picks it up, talks to the person, and engages that person, answers the question, and and here's the, here's the thing on it. They this company, this tire company, appreciates the value of a lead, and that's what the phone call is. It is a lead, and so they they know the value of it. They've, there's good training in that company to get people to do exactly what it is I just described. And I know that because I've been in there, as I mentioned, a bunch of times, and this always happens. They always jump on the phone when it rings, 
and they do everything they can, uh, you know, uh, nothing unreasonable, but they, but they do what they can, answer questions, give somebody a, a price quote, get them to come in today, all that sort of a thing. And, you know, they, they take their best shot at getting that piece of business. Um, think of it this way. When, when the phone rings for a business, it's the sound of money coming into the company. And if you're going to just stand there and ignore the phone call uh, and concentrate on the customer whom you've already captured, he's not going anywhere. And, 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 you, and you possibly let that phone call go to voicemail, you, ought, you have holes in your head. You can't do that. And what what we're seeing is that is that this is um, okay. Let's just say it another way. So when the phone rings, answer it, but answer it now because you've paid for the lead. So the tire company they've paid for people to call that phone number. Answer the darn phone. You have paid when your phone rings. If you're out in the field and your phone rings, you have either pay, you have paid for that lead, for that phone to ring, either through money you've expended for, you know, for lead generation, for uh, ads that you're running, uh, postcards you send out, whatever it might be, you have paid for that. Or if it was just because you have been going around to all the Kiwanis or Rotary Clubs and doing presentations, you're putting time into it. But regardless, you have put time or money into your business to get the phone to ring. So when the phone rings, answer it now. Okay, that's, and I, I mention this because too many businesses, in my opinion, place a low value on the leads that they get, that their phone calls are ignored. I've talked with a lot of a lot of our members, a lot of other people uh, over the course of the last couple of years. It is not unusual when in talking with people that I find out that they they tend to return their calls at the end of the day. So maybe someone is a building inspector, home inspector, and they feel funny about taking a call. Uh, or uh, you have to get past that. It, the the important thing is is to quickly take the call, let the person calling know that they've got the right phone number and that you can help them, and that you are going to call them very very promptly when you finish it up with what you're doing. But you need to you need to get their phone number. Don't ever 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 tell them to call you back in an hour, uh, because when that person doesn't call back in an hour, you deserve to not be called to be called back. Got to do a better job on this stuff. And maybe this is not you that I'm describing. Um, and if that's the case, great. Uh, but this just, just let this be a, a reinforcement for everybody. Pick up the phone when it rings. Do everything you can to get a name and a phone number and, and a promise to call them back. Do not ignore calls. Don't, don't deal with this stuff at the end of the day. Um, I should also say, there is a practical reason for this. We've taught on this before um, on, on the Marketing Boot Camp uh, webinars, but, but uh, phone calls, uh, any kind of leads, but, but phone calls uh, cool off very, very fast. Somebody, calls, uh, somebody has a problem, and so they call maybe your phone number and a couple of others. They want to get an answer. They want to get an answer now. And if, and if your phone doesn't get picked up or it goes to voicemail, good chance that you will not get that lead. Um, there, you can actually see a graph of how this, how this uh, phone call answering works, but it's amazing the difference between picking up a phone call like when it rings or yeah, and even 15 minutes later, 30 minutes later, you watch the, you watch the, uh, the, the responses, the, uh, the conversion into an actual appointment go down and if you call back after uh, a couple of hours it's like it, it you've got like 
it's a hundred times less likely you're going to get an appointment out of it than if you picked it up uh, when the phone rang. It's 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 staggering how important that time um, that timeliness is on these on these leads. So um, I want to remind you that the objective of your marketing is to make the phone ring. Uh, you know, it's nice if somebody sends you a call or, send, or sends you a, a card or a letter or an email, that's fine. But basically what works for most of us is to get a phone call and it's, you know, let's face it, it's the best of all um, responses to our marketing efforts, our sale, our marketing efforts is to get somebody to call because you can answer their questions and you could set something up for them right away. Let them know whether you can do this or not, answer their questions and and uh, schedule the time to call them back in 45 minutes or an hour, whatever it is, but you can do that. Um, so, I was going to say also, the you need to be specific when somebody calls. Um, so the call to action is, okay. So so somebody buzzes your phone, you pick it up, and and you need to think this stuff through in advance. You you need to have something that you want them to do, and basically what you want to do over this initial phone call is to get an appointment with them. Uh, if if you can if you're on somebody else's job, then you you probably need to call them back. So that's your objective. Other than that, if if you have the time to take the phone call and you're not on somebody else's time, then you go ahead and you and you do everything you can to set up an appointment with the person who has called. So I, I talk about our um, our marketing boot camps being all about. Um, uh, always be marketing. Well, let's always be closing. We always need to be closing. We, there's too many times when when people say stuff like uh, um, instead of instead of pushing for an appointment, and I don't mean to be pushy in, in pushing for an appointment, but you can help them, and they called you, and so you want you do want to help them, but. Goodness, don't don't say things like, "Well, hey, if I can if I can help you further, go ahead and call me again," um, uh, or you know something to to that effect. Um, this "call me later" stuff that is is terrible. Um, <laughs> just don't go down that road. Do everything you can to close for an appointment now. It's gonna make a huge difference to your business. And um, there's an old saying in in, the, in uh, residential. I'll say I'll say working with homeowners or people call in to uh, to call centers for appointments. A lot of times, people when they when they're not sure they want to deal do business with you, they'll say, "Well, I'll call back. You know, I'll be back." And and the old the saying is, "There there ain't no be backs." So. If, so do not rely upon someone else to return your call. Uh, you return the call. You carry you carry that football and you make it happen. It has to be that way, and that's why I say on here: have a call to action. Get them to, get them to make a phone call to you. Be specific what you want them to do, and and don't don't leave them with a bunch of options. Their option is for them to call you. And then when you have that phone call, it is to uh, get yourself over to their uh, whatever whatever building or, or animal it is that you're dealing with and help them solve their problem. So do that. Let's do this. Um, so the second strategic tip I have for you today is to place a high value on your services. And this is something else that came out this week, something that I saw, and I want to talk about this. I want to encourage you to confirm your appointments. Sometimes uh, appointments are set up, um, you know, a week in advance. Uh, sometimes it's a day in advance, but sometimes it is a week or so in advance. Always make sure that you um, that you remind your client that you're going to be there. So the day ahead of time, certainly you should be calling 
and uh, confirming that you're going to be there and the time you were going to be there. You want to remind them of something. You want to remind them of your high value. You're a very skilled person. You've got a lot of really expensive equipment. You've taken time out of your, um, your, uh, your schedule. You, you've, you've, you slip them into your schedule. They're ahead of somebody else, and they need to be there for you. If you have, if you have told them, well, hey, we're going to need certain things, make sure that those are done. You know, if, it's, if, you're, um, if you're one of the equine thermographers we have, then there's some protocols on what, what that, the horse owner needs to do with the horse before you get there. If you are um, doing electrical thermography, then there are some things that, let's say, the factory owner needs to arrange for in advance, like have an electrician there to open the cabinets, that kind of thing. That all has to be set up, and it all needs to be confirmed. Because if you don't confirm these things, you may drive up to somebody's house, and they may wonder why in the heck you're there. So when you go to confirm your appointments, try to confirm it with, you know, with the right person. Um, we, we saw something this past week where the where the confirmation was um, it wasn't solid. It maybe it might have been with uh, you know a family member as opposed to the homeowner. Stuff like that. Got to get to the source because otherwise you can get you can get stiffed and you'll show up for your appointment and uh, nothing is going to happen and you've just wasted a couple of hours and uh, there's a lot of money off of your um, off your revenue stream on account of that. So don't get shut out. Do a good job at confirming. Let me say also that that United Infrared we expect professionalism from from you guys and gals. We expect you to answer your phone. Um, we want you to deal promptly with your clients. Ideally for us, the phone you get a you get a phone call. Um, if it's a lead from United Infrared particularly, we, we insist that you answer the phone uh, quickly. If we, if we call you up and say, here's a lead for somebody in your area, need you to call them right away, we want you to do that. Because we know if you wait a couple of hours, um, there's, there's a chance that this person will go someplace else to get his solution. So deal promptly with clients. We're... we're um, you know, we're doing a lot of marketing. I'll chat about that in a second. But we're doing a lot of marketing, and it's taken off. We get a, we're getting a lot of phone calls. And so we do need good thermographers out there. Um, we're, we're, getting, we're getting a lot of job leads, and it's all over North America. Um, and so, so if you're not currently involved in doing, um, or you're not currently a member with United Infrared, hey, we do want you. We, we so give us a call here. Let's let's figure that out. But you could be uh, you could be very very uh, helpful. We could be very helpful to each other. I guess is what I want to say. But we are getting calls all over North America because we market all over North America. I think I've mentioned before one of the lead generation programs that I do is um, it's moisture uh, uh, leads, and and I've got those in 70 different cities across North America. So we're we we blanket <laughs> we blanket the place, and uh, we have we have very high placement uh, in within the search engines. Okay, so we so we not only need good thermographers, but we need thermographers who will answer the phone promptly and deal properly and, uh, and efficiently with the clients. Okay. So that's what we're looking we're looking at. I mentioned that our, our marketing has taken off. So here's here's a reason and and um, uh, let me let me do it this way. Um, so we've been marketing now. The, the company's been around for seven eight years and and um, we've had so we've been around for a long time. But we've been marketing from the beginning. Uh, we have done done a lot of things to promote ourselves. We use an awful lot of videos. We have hundreds and hundreds of videos that are out there, and so we have, and we've got many leads that are coming in. So all of this marketing, as I just said a moment ago, it's it is paying off. And and when you do things properly, uh, the the marketing that you do, uh, I'll say online. It, uh, it stays out there and it continues to be active and it provides a link back to your site 
it all helps. It's, it's all additive, as I like to say. Versus if you place an ad in a you know in your hometown newspaper this week, um, you know a week or two from now, no one will that that won't have any impact on your business at all unless somebody happens to remember you or cut out the ad. But if you place and what I like to do is I like uh, videos. You put a video up there on YouTube. It's the best place to put them. That that video is going to stay out there and work for you. It's probably YouTube is the YouTube is the number two search engine these days. There's Google and there's YouTube. Google owns YouTube. Google loves YouTube, and and uh, Google um, um, Google loves YouTube as I said, but YouTube. Uh, has even more searches than has um, Facebook. So, and and plus the doggone the the videos can be pretty easy to do. There's we, there's a number of different ways to get videos up on there. So I want to encourage all of you guys and gals to do videos. It'll it'll be a huge it'll be a huge help to you. Um, but that's why we're getting so many leads. Uh, I just kind of talked about this, but the high value of your videos, and I mentioned that Google loves YouTube, and in, in doing so, what they do is they, I like to say it this way, that they show love to its links. Uh, so if you have a, if you have a video and, uh, and you have it posted on, on YouTube and, it, and you post it properly, um, then you'll have links to your website, that sort of a thing. You'll have a call to action for people to phone, to phone you. And by the way, I think about 40% of the leads that I get these days for uh, I'm doing stuff as I mentioned for moisture and roofing. About 40% of those come from people seeing me or my my videos on YouTube, not on Google. So. It, it, it's a very, very valuable uh, way to promote your business. So everybody out there, this is you know for gen, this is generally speaking, this is for everybody out there. You should be doing videos, okay? Because it can really benefit your your company. And videos done properly, there it's worth thousands of dollars to you. It just is. You need to get you need to get um, you need to get good at this. And, and not that you have to, to become a filmmaker, you just need to get the darn things up and uh, you know, do that properly and it'll be, uh, it'll be very, very helpful for you. Now having said that, I'm going to say this, that the, uh, this coming week, now this is for all the United Infrared members, um, but this is going to be the, this, this, the super secret strategy and I'm going to show you how exactly exactly to post your videos on YouTube and I'm gonna I, I say that because very uh, and how to do it for best traffic yeah I wanted to say that because very few people know how to do this but after this next week uh, you United Infrared members will know how to post your videos the best way to get the maximum amount of traffic there's some there's some tricks to this um, there's some things to know and if you do that correctly, it will just pay off big, big dividends for you. Okay, so it's it's really important, and uh, I want you to I want you to be a part of that. Now, uh, so members, watch your inbox. You're going to get a separate email from me. Uh, if you're a non-member and you think, oh man, I really uh, that sounds pretty good. Well, look at call me, and 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 ask for the special coach Gary deal to get you to become a part of United Infrared, okay? Uh, and if you've always had an interest in this, if you want to be a part of our, our network, call, and we're going to get you, um, get, figure out a way to get you trained and, and hooked up. We need, uh, we, we really could use a lot more thermographers just based upon the amount of traffic uh, that were the amount of leads that we're getting, and we know that this, as I mentioned, it's additive. Uh, it's, it would not surprise me if we, if our number of leads grow by at least 100 percent, this uh, for actually in the next year. So this thing is 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 taken off, and we do need your help because 
when somebody calls, we want to be able to send the thermographer over there to them. We, we like to have someone that's, you know, uh, reasonably close. That would be great. So call me if you want to uh, find out more about getting affiliated with this. I want to remind you that, um, as we talked about this also last month, here in 2015, here's the reminder, and this is it, that your business is not taking thermal images. Your business is not taking thermal images, even if you're a thermographer. That's not your business. And uh, your business is the selling of infrared thermal images. There's a huge difference. You get good at, at the selling of the service of infrared thermal imaging, and you will do really well. If you want to just rely upon somebody finding you and you go out there and do some technical work, you know, you can do okay. But your business is the selling of that concept of you taking infrared thermal images. That's what this business is all about. So let's wrap this up. Um, I wanted to do this. Let's go, let's do it this way. Final comments, huh? So I wanted to remind you that uh, the Photon is coming out next week. Our member, or actually it's a, it's a newsletter we have for everybody now. So I want you to watch for that. That will be a separate um, email in your, uh, in your email inbox. And um, also be looking out for the, um, the email I'll be sending out to you on Monday or Tuesday, which is going to have the tactical uh, uh, video about how to post YouTube videos properly so that they, 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 they magnify your, your efforts, your business, get, get, tr get traffic uh, to find you. That's what it's all about. So look for that as well. And uh, if you are not a member and you want to you want to find out more, then, then call us here at the office uh, and ask for me, and we'll, we'll get that fixed up. Anyway, guys and gals, glad you're here. We will uh, be getting with you again a couple of times in March, and uh, let's have a good March together, and let's also have a, a huge 2015 together. For United Infrared, this is Coach Gary. Thanks for dropping by, everybody. <laughs>